Genomatica is a San Diego-based client, a small startup that focuses on making common chemicals from renewable feedstocks like sugar. What this means is that they can make common chemicals used in plastics, tires, paints, everything that we use as part of consumer culture from sugar instead of from oil. 234 million barrels of oil a day are used to create the chemicals that make up all of the products we use as part of daily life. The chemical industry is a three trillion dollar industry. When Genomatica came to Edelman, they had the challenge of first raising their profile. They were an unknown company to the chemical industry and to the overall energy industry at large. So what we needed to do was create a public profile for this company so that they could begin to talk about their novel biomanufacturing process. We actually had to do quite a bit of research and use that research to develop a strategy for public engagement. What we did was found through our research that the sugar growing industry in Brazil, China, and India were not communicating with the chemicals industry. And in fact, there was not any sort of meaningful dialogue about using natural renewable feedstocks like sugar to create the chemicals that we use today to make baby bottles and tires and paint solvents. So what we realized we had to do was to build that dialogue from the ground up and use Genomatica as a proxy to actually create that dialogue. There were many perceived risks out there from chemical makers about using natural feedstocks. If we could create a better dialogue between sugar growers and chemical industry manufacturers, we could reduce that perceived risk and actually help educate the market about the reality of using this cost-advantaged process. The second goal we had was to actually get these two industries, the sugar and chemical industries, to unite, in a sense, on a common goal of delivering a lower carbon world. We realized that the International Chemical Information Service, also known as ISIS, would serve as a valuable partner for Genomatica. We conducted a survey, primary research, reaching 900 senior executives in the chemicals industry and uncovered an amazing finding that over two-thirds of senior chemical executives were interested in reducing their exposure to oil as a chemical feedstock. This meant that two-thirds of the chemical industry were perhaps ready to start exploring renewable feedstocks like sugar to make chemicals. This insight led us to believe that the chemicals industry was in fact ready to start engaging the sugar grower industry. We then went to the natural choice for the sugar growing industry, which is the International Sugar Organization. Through ISO, we briefed one of their senior economic advisors and analysts and explained to them the implications for the sugar growing industry to sell their product to chemical makers and use sugar as a feedstock for making chemicals instead of oil. By briefing this analyst, we ended up getting a 70-page report from the International Sugar Organization documenting and evaluating and exploring the different options available to sugar growers to make chemicals from sugar. This report from the International Sugar Organization cited Genomatica as a primary cost advantage source for technology to make chemicals from sugar. We were then in a position to convene the public dialogue and use Genomatica as the company that is convening the dialogue between the sugar growers and the chemical industry. The survey and the ISO report generated significant coverage for the company, ranging from Reuters to Green Tech Media to Red Orbit to MIT Technology Review. We had an excellent story in MIT Technology Review, essentially called Brewing Spandex, creating spandex from sugar. That narrative was thanks to the great work we had done with ISIS and ISO, and it stuck, and it took off, and we became the spandex from sugar company. It gave Genomatica a platform from which to speak credibly about lowering the carbon intensity of the chemicals industry, and it also aligned us with two organizations that were serving as valid, trustworthy, credible advisors to those industries. The CEO of Genomatica has been invited to speak at leading sugar conferences around the world, and we have the CEO being tapped to speak at financial shows talking about clean energy in general, which is a much broader topic than what the company deals with. We've achieved byline article opportunities with the International Sugar Journal, which goes to the top sugar growers around the world. We've a sense created a demand for perspective from this company.